University of Arkansas. Headlined by their stacked 2022 signing class, the Razorbacks are beginning to heat up this season. But the team's sights still remain on the future. Eric Musselman has already secured a pair of five-star 2023 signees in Bayfall and Little Rock native Layden Blocker. But momentum is just building for 2024, and it starts with a junior in their own backyard at Little Rock Central, where Hog fans are hoping Honor Botang stays home. I mean, there's mixed things here and there. There's the occasional go to Razorbacks, and there's like, go where you want. So whatever's best for me, then I'll make that decision. But I love the, the Razorback fans, though. They come here every time, and they always show support. So it's all love. Imposing at six foot six, 205, Botang has crept up national ranks, rated as a top 20 overall five-star prospect by rivals, and a nearly top 50 four-star by 24-7. His offer list includes various SEC teams, Arkansas and Auburn, viewed as favorites. Known for his lockdown defense, the Central Tiger has shown glimpses of elite potential and offensive growth, be it going hard in the paint, putting defenders on skates with nifty handles, showing off range and knocking down threes, or taking flight and throwing it down. Botang has the tools to be a star in college, and a decision on his future should come sooner rather than later. Like I said, state championship. I also have some goals set up for myself, like possibly winning like Gatorade Player of the Year. I would say like going with the flow. Mainly being recruited by coaches is like they'll tell you what you need to work on. So especially Arkansas and some of the other coaches I've talked to, they talk about ball handling and shooting. So I've really made a focus on those two things to actually improve my game, elevate my game. And like overall, that feedback has helped me so much up until now. I mean, there's no, there's no pressure at the same time. I'm just trying to be me and basically represent my state, you know. And uh, I know I have a lot on my back, and I, I got, a, you know, some things to prove here and there. But overall, I just need to be content with myself, play with confidence, and then just keep going. And then, yeah, the city, city can have me as a representative. Botang walks in the footsteps of former stars to play at Central, including Hogs great Joe Johnson and upcoming draft prospect Bryson Warren. The touted junior has a high bar to live up to. His goal, first and foremost, being to bring home a 6A state championship. And unlike in 2020, an outright title. I feel like it's very important, especially having like those big names come through. It's just like, I just got to live up to that, you know, and add another big name to come out essential. So that's just like the start of things. So as soon as I get a state championship, I feel like I'll accomplish what I need to accomplish at this level. And it just gives me like fuel to keep going. And maybe even like going to college, maybe even a title there. With only two conference losses to their name and ranked second in Class 6A behind Jonesboro, Botang and the Tigers will try to prove that they're legit contenders. Uh, I feel like our athleticism, also like our uh, our competitiveness, defense sometimes is taken for granted at times, and it's like that that's just as important as offense because it wouldn't matter if you know if I go out there and score 30 and my opponent scores 32, it, it really wouldn't matter. So if I can. Even if I score 15, I can limit the person I'm scoring to just zero points will make a huge difference. So I feel like having defense is like a huge aspect to have and also a huge plus side to have as a player. It's our year. Like our team has been together for a long time. And we just got our recent loss against Donesboro. So it's all good. We just got to learn from that, adapt, bounce back. And overall, I feel like we're going to have a great run this season. It's just that like we're on a little dry period right now, but we'll get like back in a uh, groove of things pretty soon. While his attention is set on balling out for Central, Botang does get to follow his home state hogs. It's been an up and down season for Arkansas, now on an upswing amid an SEC winning streak and with the looming return of Nick Smith. Coming off back-to-back -back Elite Eight trips, Muss and the Razorbacks have made a strong impression on this 2024 riser, and Botang is rooting for another deep run. Oh, they're pretty good. I feel like, uh, yeah, they lost some pieces here and there, like Brazil, he got injured. Uh, Nick has been out for a little bit, but overall, I feel like they've been able to adapt from like some of their losses or their last like their lost pieces, especially losing like starters like those two. But I feel like uh, overall they're able to pers persevere through like tough times, just like our team. So it's just a matter of time before they get that click and then they'll take off. 